What's up, everybody? This is a quick, short video on the modifications I made to my SEMA X5C1's receiver to increase the range. The stock range is pretty bad, and in fact, in this video, you can see it running out of range here. Um, just pr pretty much going straight up from the backyard up into the sky and um, losing range pretty quickly. Although it looks like it's pretty high, it's it's not. And if you you know tend to wander off in any other direction than straight up, it'll actually lose range fairly quickly. I actually ran out um, of range after this video um, on a second video and ended up taking a pretty hard hit on top of the roof, which corrupted the video file, unfortunately. Um, but here you can see the uh, stock antenna. Notice it's pretty, it's pretty dinky. Um, obviously, it's pretty short. And there's many YouTube videos out right now on different modifications you could do. Um, the stock antenna um, is a, I guess it's a quarter length quarter length wave uh, 2.4 gigahertz so the length of the wire is actually in tune to the uh, frequencies of 2.4 gigahertz so you can't just add on any other wire and hope that it works um, it needs to be actually uh, the same length so once it's doubled it would be a half length wave this is a video actually this is a picture here of the antenna I ended up using I took a D-Link router and opened up the stock 2.4 gigahertz antenna and uh, stripped off the plastic sheathing and housing out of it. So this is directly from from the D-Link router's uh, 2.4. So I've soldered it on, and um, let me show you the solder points here. So the main center pole, or the, the center wire, is soldered into the stock location uh, from where the original wire was. The pad right below it, which is not used um, by default, is where you would actually solder the um, the shielded or the shield. So I am by all means no electrician and know almost absolutely nothing about radio frequencies, but I'm hoping this will increase the range significantly and at least let me use the <laughs> the stock plastic antenna um, on the receiver or on the transceiver and actually make it useful and have a wire inside of it. So this one looks to be a quarter length wire um, however it's got a um, uh, what I believe is some sort of a, a shielding device um, in the center of it. I think it's used for, to help tune the wire or tune the antenna. Um, so it hopefully is a, a halfway length uh, essentially doubling the length of it. What I also did, and I've heard mixed reviews on whether or not this is good or bad, but I ended up taking the canopy off, drilling a hole in it, and doubling the length of the stock 2.4 gigahertz receiver wire. So essentially I used the exact same wire that I unsoldered from the receiver and soldered it right onto the, um, the end of it, doubling the length. And um, I'm going to let it stick out. So it needs to stay vertical. Uh, to keep the polarization, and um, you know, I think in the future I'm going to try to use some sort of a, a dipole um, antenna, you know, to even more so increase the range. And if this doesn't work out, I'll end up cutting off this this second length and leaving it back to stock. But this is what I'm going to try, and um, hopefully when the wind dies down outside, I'll be able to give everyone an update on whether or not this made a difference. So we will see. Thanks for watching.